Hello everybody, today is launch day. Today, Springtime Pleasures has become available on Amazon and I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited that I can finally share the story with you. It was so much fun to ride. I love the characters and I hope you will love them too and you will have as much fun reading the story as I had writing it. It's a historical romance set in the Regency period, but if you know my books, you uh, can imagine that it's not, you know, your straightforward historical romance. It's rather quirky and a bit different. Our hero is George Augustus Griffin, Viscount Chandelay, and the poor man has a really big problem. His father has ordered him to find a wife this very season and it has to be a very suitable wife, a very respectable woman. But alas, the only woman Criff has eyes for is the very unsuitable Miss Kilotta Stanton. Miss Stanton is not just unbecomingly tall and wears the ugliest spectacles in all of London, but she also talks about very unsuitable topics. She talks about things like cutting fish or wild boars. I mean, have you ever met a gently proud young lady who talks about wild boars? Neither has Griff. But he is utterly bewitched by her green eyes and he felt, feels drawn to her. He feels drawn to the joy she exudes and the love for life um, he can feel in her. And to him, she sparkles. To him, she's really a diamond of the first water, whatever everybody else says. But he knows that his parents would never, ever accept her as his Viscountess. And so duty demands that he stays far away from her. Now, our heroine is dubbed the giantess when she arrives in London. Poor Charlie, she is so unhappy. She has imagined London to be this great adventure. She has imagined these wonderful balls she will attend. But once she is in London, she is assigned a place among the wallflowers. Poor her. Um, but then she becomes acquainted with the very dashing Lord Chandelier whose life seems to be overshadowed by a terrible tragedy in his past. Now, Charlie is something what her best friend calls a problem solver. Um, she really can't stand people, seeing people being unhappy. And so she forms the resolution to free Lord Chandelier from his sad melancholia even if it means taking on wild boars and highwaymen. But as it turns out, the greatest challenge she might face might be the very elusive Viscount himself, because Griff believes that he is far beyond any kind of redemption. Now, Springtime Pleasures was inspired by the Synchronians films, by the old Synchronians films. I stumbled across them a few years ago and I love them. I love this portrayal, this very unusual portrayal of young girls. Um, if, you, if you know the Synchronians film, films, you know that the, the girls of Synchronians are, oh my gosh, they are fearless. They get into the maddest scrapes and they terrorize the adults around them. But they always come out on top. And that is what I find so fascinating. They, they are not punished for their misdemeanors, but um, they, you know, they come out on top and they win the day. And I thought when I first watched those films, I thought, now, what would, you, what would happen if you let loose girls like this in Regency England. And this is when the idea for Springtime Pleasures were born, was born, because Charlie and her friend attended a very unusual finishing school in the north of Scotland, 
which is modeled on St. Trinian's. That is, uh, you know, that is all I'm going to tell you about that. Uh, you have to find out for yourself. As I said, it was great fun to write and I hope you will enjoy this novel as well. Bye bye.